5.5 is all about finding people who make a difference in their community. And our latest story has brought us to Santa Cruz in the Galapagos Islands, where we get to experience how business has made it their business to contribute to the future of the community. In Ecoventura, we always thought that education is, is a solution for many problems. And I think that's where we uh, uh, invested a lot of our time and resources. We teamed up with Ecology Project International and with them we finance courses for kids years that are 14 to, 12, uh, to 16 years old. Small courses, 16 kids, we take them to the field and they're able to uh, measure eggs to eradicate introduced species. Therefore, they have a feel for the non-extractive and conservation side of the problems of the Galapagos. The role of EPI basically is to inspire conservation to the teenagers, to the young people, in order to conserve these beautiful islands. There used to be 14 species of tortoises, giant tortoises here in Galapagos. Now there are just left 10 species, and all of them are in critical danger of extinction because basically the invasive animals are eating the hatchlings. We took the opportunity to visit the EPI camp, where the course is held, and got to see firsthand the kind of activities they got up to. I got a chance to speak with one of the leaders, Adrian Keller. So we have local students working with us from all the different islands that are populated on the Galapagos with the exception of Floriana, which doesn't have a high school, but all the islands that have high schools get to participate in the Ecology Project International field ecology courses here. So they get to come and participate in a five-day ecology field course and each day we do different work in the morning in the field and then in the afternoon we do activities back at um, a ecological reserve that we stay at and so this whole week we've been camping out for some of these students it's their first opportunity camping um, camping out at the reserve and then um, doing different projects with the galapagos national park every day so today we're working um, in the galapagos national park with some park guards looking for giant tortoises and each time that we, we lock, walk along a, a trail that the park guards have been walking for 20 years, and each time we come across a giant tortoise, we stop and we take measurements for the tortoise. And so there's several different measurements that we take. We take the uh, measurements of the, the shell uh, as well as the weight of the tortoise. Una, dos, tres, y bajito nomás. Ahí nomás, ahí nomás, ahí nomás. So on the shell of each tortoise, we um, actually brand the tortoise with a unique number as well on the shell and with a P that represents the national park. Um, and so we do that with a, a camping stove. The kids get to learn how to use a camping stove for the first time. And we heat up a branding iron and then brand the, the shell. With that, with that unique number as well as the P to uh, recognize that we have worked with that tortoise in the, in the past. And then the exciting part for the students is we actually inject a, a chip into each tortoise. And so with that chip, it has its own essentially barcode and we can come back later and identify this tortoise as its uh, unique individual. Today we have a visitor from the Charles Darwin Research Center, Diego Ellis, and he does telemetry work with the National Park. And today he's here teaching our students how to track giant tortoises like we see in the field using the telemetry technology. Once these kids have been introduced to nature, they become a conservationist they become a Galapagos lover. Even though they are Galapagos kids, they were born in Galapagos, sometimes they haven't been in the field, on the field. And, and by them being able to go to the field, to the nature, they immediately become a protector for the Galapagos. And they are the best ambassadors for us. Education really helps uh, kids in conservation to protect Galapagos.
companies like EcoVentura are essential for our program because with their donations we can get the funds to take many uh, students to our program in the highlands of Santa Cruz Island to teach them about ecology and the importance of the Galapagos Islands and to teach them about tortoises. The kids that are part of our program are the future owners of the Galapagos Islands. So it's very important that they realize where they are standing because maybe they can live here right now in the present but sometimes they don't know what is the magic of this place. So we want to assure that they appreciate the place that they are living in.